So, we've got a lot of packages to go through. So I guess I'm just going to do that. I'm being nice and lazy about things today. So if you hear beeps in the background because I didn't mute my computer or my phone, then, you know, well... I don't even remember what all arrived. Basically, I just haven't been opening anything up. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, jeez. Why do I just not have enough space? It's because I don't need to continue the project I'm on. Which I, I am doing, of course. But, just reminded that I didn't need to work on it. I guess this one is a high priority watch, I guess. Turn it over like that so y'all can stare at it while I continue opening this package. This is only the beginning of all this stuff. Basically, I went with the two boxes first and then I'm going to go with a shit ton of smaller packages that are off to the side. There we go. Yes, packages. Which I don't even know if these can be recycled because they seem like they're made out of cardboard on the outside, but wax on the inside or something like that. I don't know. That's weird. Ooh, I'm gonna put this one to the side because that one's hentai. There should be another one somewhere in here. I think this is one of today. Oh, for fuck's sake, I hate it when that happens. Now it's going to stuff in Oh, shit. Ugh. The gift that keeps on giving. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look like this one's clean enough since, um. Probably have to remember to get that out. Or something. Anyways, it's not important. And then, last but not least, we get a big package. I can feel over here. All right. So, um, as is tradition, let's take a quick peek at these hentai. We got Hentai Heaven Volume Five, which has a shit ton of hentai on them. Oh, huh. These are absolutely not for children. I'm just taking a quick peek at the back side to make sure they're relatively okay. Kind of curious. I never look at the back of the Blu-rays much. I see a uh, region A. Uh, Japanese with English subtitles. Approximately 80 minutes for five things. Uh, maybe that sounds about right. Because, uh, you know, that's less than 20 minutes a thing. Otherwise, it'd be 100 minutes. Oh, well. Anyways. Uh, Blue Seed. 29 episodes in standard definition. So, I, it sounds like this is both Blue Seed and that little extra thing. Because two core plus a couple episodes. Region A. We've got our English dub on there because this was English dubbed. Huh. Well, let's uh, open it up. It's 29 SD episodes on BD. You know, standard definition on Blu-ray. And I remember it being at least an okay series. I don't know how well I remember what all happened. It all fades away in time. I mean, for me, it's like, okay, fine, you forget stuff. But generally for a lot of anime, I've considered, even if I didn't remember the exact events, since I remember enough to spoil stuff, usually that means, um, you know, usually I use that as, okay, I remember enough to say, yes, I definitely watch it. But now, I can't even remember... Like, I kind of remember little things. 
And I do like it when they do the different artwork on the sleeve and the thing. I would expect there to only be one disc. Ooh, we can actually take a look at the graphic on the inside. I don't remember any of these people at all. And of course, if you only had this, you might be a little confused because you're like, oh, that's cute. What's wrong with his eyes? But, I don't know. Anyways, maybe I don't remember it well enough to say that it isn't that. Anyways, next up we have Zabungle. 50 episode series plus movie. Standard definition on Blu-ray. Oh, so Made in Japan's doing that as well, too. Region A. Disc Echo in Mexico. Japanese with English subtitles. Good, bad, and the giant robot. I can't really say that's an ugly thing that does this the giant robot. Hmm. Just watching the computer on the side. It's probably going to beep. No, wait, maybe it doesn't beep. See, this is like that. Did I look at extra? Oh, look, there's special features there. Japanese promo movie, clean opening ending. This one have something like that on there. It says, uh, original English language dub, clean opening, clean ending. Okay, nice and simple. Hmm. So this is definitely going with that man with no name, um, sort of reference that they were going with the back. Didn't I get a DVD version earlier? Well, I know I got a Blu-ray version of this earlier, and here is Hells on DVD. And no, I haven't watched the dub yet. I've just been... I mean, I thought I was doing a good job of watching stuff, but... I don't know. We're going to find that it almost seems pretty normal. I mean, I've been doing a good job of the ripping of DVDs. That's not going to look like it on camera, just because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to rip the stuff that won't be staying here. So I want to kick it out and back into storage when I can. You know what? That may be something I can actually do this year. If the timing works out right. When I do my um, tour, maybe I can include storage audio English and Japanese do, 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 do features how it takes trailers behind the scenes but I think this is mostly the same as the blu-ray release just now it's out on DVD as well and since it can be hard to see their the outline of their hair they kind of look even smaller than they actually are hmm. all right Well, that's Hells. Next up, we have Elemental Jalad. Jalade. 26 episodes in standard definition on Blu-ray. So this is expected to be a one-disc dealio as well. We have Region A. We have English dub, subtitles. Oh, there's the special features. Clean opening ending, interviews and trailers. So one thing this doesn't have that the older releases did have, if you've got the right thing, is the older releases had these metal plate versions of what was um, on the cover of the DVD. Which I don't think I have up on the walls here. I had them up on the walls back at home, but I'll be honest, putting little things like that up on the wall is tricky at best. Maybe I, I wonder where I put them. Huh. I guess if I ever do get my own place. Oh, nice. Although, this is definitely a more interesting cover. It's not bad. Now you kind of know, oh yes. Action-y guy. Well, I guess it kind of works with her being in there. On the disc. Well, not much the insert, but you know. If you ever wanted this, you wanted to watch it, I can remember it being an okay series. You know what, now I think about it. I was just looking at these characters, I'm like, you know, 
Okay, I'm kind of vaguely remembering ideas of this anime. And they look familiar. I can't fucking remember fucking thing or whatever. God Mars! The complete TV series, OVA, and movie. All 64 episodes in standard definition. SD on BD. So as you can see, today's a really, um... Is, is, would you call it a... I'm not sure if busy is the right word. Hmm. Well, it's a lot of something. There's a lot of... Well, well we're, it's the uh, month end, I guess. Influx of... <sighs> of I figure out what they're called. Oh, different thing on the inside. Hmm. So let's see. First of all, Region A, Japanese with English subtitles. Uh, those aren't special features. I can't see special features. Well, it's a secret save the world or destroy it. Anyways, it's um, uh, Discotheque uh, Eastern Star releases that tend to happen at the end of the month. And it's not the end of the month, but I think most places are trying not to release stuff next week because it is Christmas. And then the week after is New Year's, but I'll be honest, I've been lazy pre-ordering stuff. So we got to check under the sticker for any uh, sexy anythings. Honestly, I'm having trouble even interpreting what some of this stuff is. Because that looks... That box almost looks face-ish, face -ish, but I don't think it is. Urahara, the complete series, Blu-ray and DVD. Well, we should take a look at the back. We've got a region A and B. We've got English dub. Uh, there we go. Extras, textless opening, closing songs, trailers. You know, nice and straightforward. You know, this is the standard Funimation. Oh, I got it. This is the standard Funimation um, covers are the same with or without the slip cover stuff, which is okay. It's just really awesome when the slip covers and the discs have different art, and that gives you more options. So first of all, we're going to take this thing and face it down. Why do all these people have scouters? They're not looking for power levels, or are they? As usual, there has to be a loose disc somewhere in the release. And eventually it will stay in there. But we have no ability to keep this in there with any reliable reliability. Probably because I think there's a piece of plastic right here. I hope I didn't scratch it up, but the Blu-ray discs tend to be a lot more hardy. So we got Blu-rays one and two. Yeah, that's one and two. Then DVD one and DVD two. Why is there a cat girl? That doesn't even look like somebody dressed as a cat girl. That looks like a cat girl. Is there a cat girl here? Here? Maybe a cat girl underneath that. What the fuck am I even looking at? Whatever. It looks interesting. But then again, don't I say that about a lot of anime, and I just don't ever get around to watching them. Ah, next up we have Takunomi, Sentai Filmworks, complete collection. We have Region A, we have an English dub. We have special features, clean opening animation, clean closing animation, Sentai trailers. Sometimes the best place to drink with friends is in the comfort of your own home. Interesting. I mean, especially since uh, that anime I watched uh, is this there's all you need or something like that? You know, I was talking about how that's just like about a bunch of people chillaxing and drinking and stuff. Okay, high dive. And then one thing with 12 episodes on it. Not a whole lot else in here, so I'm kind of curious, because usually a 12 episode series, um is on two discs, so if I look for the run time, I bet we'll all 12 episodes on one disc. 
that it, it is a one, right? That Echo in Mexico is making it a little hard to see. Oh, there we go. Uh, focus, please. That's 150 minutes. Hmm. Which, if there's 12 episodes, then that's like 12 episodes or 12 minutes an episode. So there's half. Lupin the Third, The Legend of the Gold of Babylon. I think I got this on Blu-ray earlier. Oh, look. English and Japanese audio. It's just hard to remember the order of when I got stuff. Before we take a peek, we have to take the little sticker off. Alright, and same underneath the slip cover. And take a peek on the inside, and we have a disc, but we also have a reversible cover. Which seems familiar, which makes me think I saw something like that on the Blu-ray, but I can't remember. The important thing is we keep going, especially since this next one is actually a very notable release. Princess Tutu on the Blu-ray. Um, why is it notable? Well, I consider Princess Tutu to be up there among some of my favorite anime. It's, it's a combination of things that... You know, when you blurt them out, they don't sound like they mix, but they do mix perfectly, and this show just gives you some of that weird stuff. If it didn't have the English dub, that would be tragic. Maybe some people prefer. Uh, let's see. Special features. Three TV specials. Outtakes, ballet for beginners, voice acting, and much more. So there, were, there was a shit ton of extras on the old ADV release, including... Um, the Pr Princess Tutu promo video, which is why I would kind of hope that they'd have that here. Maybe they do. You know, looking at this, you can't actually tell very well what kind of series it actually is, especially since you can at least get the impression that ballet is very important to it, right? And the interesting thing is it's a kind of a magical girl ballet fairy tale thing, where the magical girl elements are not played as strongly as the fairy tale in the ballet one, but it gives you a lot of appreciation for ballet because if there's one thing they can do with animation, it's they can show things that would be kind of harder to show with a real camera, so you can kind of get a better feel for, oh geez, we don't have to pretend this actor is suffering because they can, you know, like show you that oh, the feet have to be doing this during that move, and that's kind of an unhuman, inhuman thing or something. UQ holder. Let's see, this one's reaching A, and it's got English dub. Special features, special features. All 12 episodes plus three OVAs. So this one's probably uh, 375 minutes? Oh, uh, okay. That sounds like it's actually um, about the right length. Oh, there we go, this little black box here. OVA, clean closing animation, Japanese promos. Okay. So, um, yeah, but the fairy tale, there's a kind of surrealness to Princess Tutu, which helps it work. Drossel Myers, you know, an interesting character. The Princess Crahey, the Raven. And those are just some of the antagonists. Not This is not to even go into how interesting the protagonists are as well. It's it's just neat. Anyways, last but not least, we have March Comes In Like a Lion. Which, if I remember correctly, I kind of, you know... I was watching it before, and I made commentary about how, you know, there's a kind of warmth to it, but its pacing did not seem right for a single season anime, and that's because there's more than one season, and I'm, I mentioned as much at the time. We're going to, uh, let's see, this one doesn't usually say what region it is. Volume 3 contents, 11 episodes, deluxe, oh, yeah. 
uh, English audio, which is good because if you watch the first one English audio, then um, you would kind of want to be able to continue doing it. Then we've got the graphic. It's interesting how solid um, the Aniplex. You know, it's it's becoming a lot more. You, I remember when they were just always completely flimsy. Lots of characters and imagery and art. Then we've got the actual discs themselves, which should be like two of them. Uh, if there's three of them, I wonder. This is volume three, disc three. Volume 3, Disc 2. Okay. Volume 3, Disc 1. I, I guess I was kind of wondering, oh, would there be music? But I think I was actually thinking of a different anime for which that would make sense. Anyways. Here's this week's anime DVD collection update. Maybe the last one for the year. There is another package that shipped. Um, and usually I would assume that it would be delivered before next week. And then I would show it next week. But the truth of the matter is... With uh, Christmas presents being shipped everywhere, you never know. But this may be the last anime DVD collection update for the year. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. And, yeah, like I was saying, I'm kind of surprised that um, I haven't watched more anime than I have. Um, first of all, I finished up The Testament of Sister New Devil Burst. You know, this is season two. And it was okay. Um, my thoughts on it were, you know, I kind of mentioned before that I kind of remembered the succubus elements being a little too strongly um, present and that the anime had good ideas. And I guess maybe I want to change it a little bit to say that the anime has passable ideas, I guess. Because, I, well, I don't know. Because I kind of like some of the story development, but I kind of forgot that the succubus, el succubus elements are kind of strongly tied into some portions of it. The first season especially, where Final Confrontation of the first season was almost sort of a who's a manlier man to their women kind of thing, I think. But second season introduced some elements sort of like that, that were tied to the story, but it wasn't really about that in its main confrontation. And the stuff there is okay, but I guess if they didn't have the succubus stuff, then the contents of both the first and the second season would probably be condensed into a single season. Which kind of makes it the way this anime may be padding itself a bit, and it's weird. And the truth of the matter is because I have to um, push myself through it a little bit, it's a little... I don't know. It was okay. I wouldn't blame somebody for watching it, but, you know, it's just so over with the um, sexual stuff, especially since it's just like, oh, well, uh, I guess he's going to start massaging some breasts again. Uh, okay, here we go. He's being asked to lick, lick some armpits. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. It's, it is what it is. It's, oh, and I guess if you were hoping that I watched Naruto Shippuden 36 set 2, my friend that I watch it with had a Christmas party, um, a company Christmas party. So I didn't get to watch that with him. And I guess we'll probably do that next week because, again, the first disc was actually finally fucking relevant. Whereas... For the past couple of sets, it's been hints of maybe okay content, but then it's just not handled in a really neat way, I guess. Anyways, um, Anime Gotries. I decided to put this on, and I'm kind of glad I did because um, I really like the butler. He's not in there a whole lot, but, you know, that dancing thing he does, that's, um, that was definitely a highlight. And that was just one little thing. The content of the show is very strange. It's not neat to watch it as an anime fan saying, oh, I get what anime they're referencing about 70% of the time, I think. Maybe. And it's doing weird, bizarre things. 
where I haven't quite finished it yet. I've got the last two episodes, and the last two episodes are probably the if there's an explanation for this stuff, the weirder stuff that it does, then it's going to happen there. But it's interesting because it's playing around kind of a bit with what it set it up itself up to be and what it is choosing to be without really crossing a border in terms of what the show is about. You you feel it's about anime and people who like anime, but I don't know how to really describe it without spoiling. So for the most part, I'm kind of curious where it's going to go. You know, where it's ending because it's done a couple of intentional misdirections that are kind of hard to see coming even if you're watching it, I guess, for lack of better words. Mostly because a lot of the the twists are not that important until the twists actually happen. And I think that's probably, story-wise, an okay thing to do. Hmm. Oh, well, anyways, I, I've enjoyed it. Um, I can at least give this anime a good thumbs up for introducing a Chunibyo that I actually find kind of tolerable. Because usually everything about it being about the Chunibyo in the anime is just cringy. And in this one, he just kind of is there. He's not... He's doing his own thing. And the characters just kind of interact with him. And he just kind of knows that he's being interacted with that way. So it's more like his Chunibyo is almost more about adding an interesting flair to his life as opposed to escaping reality. And I'm not sure it's perfectly that, but it kind of feels more like that than the other. And you have to admit, that's a very um, nice way to go with that. You know, because you have to appreciate people that, you know, make reality interesting. People who wear, you know, a pink Thundercats shirt to um, work on Wednesdays. You know, I, that's one thing I, I do. And that's part of the thing that uh, somebody else started at work where, um, in reference to the movie called Mean Girls, they wear pink on Wednesdays. Now, the part of that joke is they wear pink every day, but they wear pink on Wednesdays. And, you know, that's kind of a good excuse for you to, for especially guys who maybe don't normally wear it, to say, you know, I should find something pink and put it in my arsenal. And there's a lot of stuff that actually is pretty good in that regard. Especially um, if you want to keep up a, you know, if you like office attire, I guess, you can get um, button up shirts that are uh, pink, that are bright pink, but it doesn't really look like you're wearing something out of place. It just looks like it's part of a natural outfit. Which is, you know, a good thing because, you know, we have these, sometimes these weird ideas about reality and we have to remember sometimes we need them to be fun. I think you kind of see similar things with people who choose to use interesting words and you're like, are you, are you, do you have a thesaurus built into your head? And sometimes it's like, nah, I just think sometimes we need to decorate our language a bit or something like that. So, you know, uh, that's a long way to say, you know, he's a pretty good Chinibyo. Actually, it's a very interesting cast of characters. I think they introduced one of them as being into BL, but, you know, like a lot of other anime, they know not to go too heavy with that. They've actually done just uh, the right amount to kind of use it as an amusing joke here and there, and you kind of enjoy it. And this is to be uh, in contrast where some people have the BL stuff where it's like, they're very pushy about it. Oh, wait, uh, those of you who don't know what BL, that's short for boy love, I guess. Which actually refers to uh, men liking each other. Usually, bishonen. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what bishonen is, that's basically the Japanese anime pretty boy stereotype. Um, he would probably be a really good example. Yeah, you know, it's all been nice stuff. I'm curious to see how it's going to end. Because it keeps throwing these neat little curveballs every once in a while. It's like, huh. This is actually kind of refreshing. So, outside of that, 
I think most of my focus has actually been on ripping of DVDs. I know it doesn't look like it because these are all still here. And like I said, my priority right now is um, I moved all my DVD, my non-anime DVDs from storage to here because I had a hard drive that failed which had those on it. And you know, this was the disadvantage of the way I've set things up. But I wanted to um, re-rip those, especially since it was the zeroth disc. And like I said, I start my counting at zero. And that meant that all the stuff that I prioritized ripping first was on there. And so I lost some of the more important um, DVDs. And I've been able to go back and rewatch some of them and really enjoy well, just a lot of stuff. I don't even know. I think I've just been poking around at a lot of stuff. But um, outside of that, I guess I've just been chilling out, relaxing, especially since, you know, there's a lot of waiting for the DVD stuff. I haven't been playing a lot of video games. In theory, um, you know, I, I unlocked all of the Smash Ultimate characters. I haven't started World of Light. When my Saturday friend came over, I've been helping him by, you know, playing Smash Brothers, which gives him a much better sense of timing and stuff. And because traditionally, um, me and my brothers have kind of been um, hurdles for people to get around in terms of playing and enjoying Smash because, you know, it's no fun to just always lose. And even worse, it's no fun to not be able to hit people and to get smacked around and, you know, that's frustrating. And that's one, probably one of the core things that has made me kind of lose interest in the idea of winning. Uh, especially competitive games. I like to play cooperative games and help other people to win. Because I want other people to enjoy games too. And with Smash, you know, I kind of really worry about playing my best because, you know, I really do s smack my friends around a bit. But, you know, he's getting a lot better at it. And that's good. And they have said that, you know, tr while traditionally they can never win in a Smash battle against me or my brothers, and this is historically. I think nowadays a lot of them are a lot better at it. But historically they haven't been able to win as much, but then they go and they play against other friends in college and they're like, Jesus Christ, you're really good at this. And it's really weird because I don't actually consider myself that good. I understand I'm a little slippery son of a bitch, but I've never considered myself good. Some people have been saying, yeah, you could be competitive. I don't think that means I could win, but you know, I, I could make it challenging for people maybe and for the most part I don't know I don't want to think about that too much because I want people to enjoy the game so that means that if I'm playing against somebody that isn't where am I going with this where did I go I don't know I really ought to just wrap this video up because I can hit some of my things before rush hour hits if there's even a rush hour a week before Christmas. Maybe a different kind of rush hour. Anyways, so I haven't been playing much Smash um, Monster Hunter. I really, I think I've only done one little thing, and that's yesterday I took on the single player um, Narcolocalos thing. If you know what I mean by this, you know exactly which Elder Dragon thing I'm talking about. And... That basically means that I have a handful of other things, so obviously I'm very slowly getting closer to Latrion, but that won't give me what I thought it was going to give me, so that doesn't matter as much. The important thing, I guess, is just making sure that I get those handled, and then maybe I need to hit up some hyper monsters so I can upgrade some weapons to some more weapons to white sharpness, so I have some variety. I mean, as it is right now, I only have two weapons to really choose from. And I can just give up 30 points of attack damage to add two slots, which isn't necessarily bad. But I don't know if that gives me anything right now. I guess we have an armor we're going to be targeting, and we just have to make sure that Jeffix gets his stuff. This is all stuff that we're going to be doing later today. So yeah, I need to wrap this up so I can go do stuff and be prepared early. But yeah, otherwise I've been focusing on the non-MA stuff because I'm hoping to finish re-ripping all the Disc Zero stuff and then all the new stuff 
And then to get those boxes in storage so that they're not here. And so I might be able to get that done in the... No, I don't know. How many discs do I have left? I have to figure that out. Maybe I should focus really hard on that. I'll figure that out. So, it's all stuff. It's all things and stuff. I really need to re-rip all of SG-1. That one's a great series to have. That one's also tough. I need to reboot that computer. I'll figure this all out. I'm I'm babbling. I should end this here. Y'all have a nice week. And if I no, I I'll create it. I'll upload a video next week. So, y'all have a nice, next uh, nice week.